Welcome back to the channel guys and in typical Xbox fashion they just keep dropping games on the cloud on console and on PC We've got humankind on PC out now and we've got three more cloud games need for speed heat battlefront 2 and Jedi fallen order All available to play now in the cloud. So we're gonna check those out on the PC app uh, That they have I've got videos on this if you don't know how to use the PC app to play X cloud You can go check that out, but these three games are really good uh, Gets for X cloud and jumping into Jedi fallen order this game does run on the new custom series X blades and hence why it has much better uh, bit rate and performance than most of the other games graphically it will look better and uh, pixelation wise bit rate and stream wise it will look better now latency wise Xbox has been doing a great job for me whether games are running on the older blades or the newer ones since the updates started rolling out but a few months ago and last year and in the beginning of the year X cloud was completely unplayable for me Absolutely couldn't play anything on there, but now in the past couple of months It's been fantastic since they started rolling out the series X upgrades the infrastructure upgrades They've obviously tuned the other games on the other server blades as well because my latency on those is just pretty fantastic And you can see here how clean this game is running. Uh, there's no performance options This game does appear to be running in the 60 FPS performance mode for the custom series X blade now the um, Need for Speed Heat and Battlefront 2 are apparently running on the older blades. Now checking out this darker scene right here again, oh, these up. darker scenes will show you how clean something is streaming and it stayed looking really nice here. Even in the uh, darker scene when you're looking for the blockiness or the pixelation, whatever you want to call it, um, most of the time stays really good and that's the case for most of the games that are non-multiplayer that I'm playing on the Series X custom blades on xCloud. They stay very, very clean. Um, they definitely run much better than the games on the older blades and they look much cleaner in fast moving or in slow now you'll see some of that pixelation and stuff kick in xbox is still in beta and they do still have work to do to clean up some areas and that's why i'm showing you so many different areas here in the game and a lot of darker areas but um latency wise on point guys and this is coming from a local hardware gamer on high-end pcs on consoles on that type of stuff with gaming monitors uh with very little input latency while no cloud offers what local offers when it comes to the input this was working really really well and i keep saying this it's going to be different for everybody but for me all i can do is tell you my experience and these games are getting better and better they're running better and the latency has just been on point for me i don't know how else to say it there's almost no latency for me on x cloud these days uh jumping over to need for speed heat i'm just gonna let you watch this race again this is on the older blade it's there is no series x enhanced version therefore there wouldn't necessarily be a reason for them to kick it over to the new blades however i would like eventually for all the games to go there for the loading times and for the cleaner streams that they tend to get and whatnot but check out this race for need for speed heat from the beginning of the game running on xcloud this is the league we're going for here come on guys this is ours Keep those cars lit up. I ain't losing them. That's what you think. We're not 
taking this bird! Leave that to me! Army deployed. South exit. All right, guys, there we are at the finish, and that stayed really smooth. I mean, it wasn't stuttery. It didn't give me issues, and like I said, the latency was on point. Um, but you could see uh, some of the stream quality there, and I think that's where Xbox really has to improve the most. Latency, for me, like I said, is really on point. It's really about stream quality now. The content is there. Game Pass is on fire. xCloud's getting a ton of great games. And as we get into Battlefront 2 here, this is where you'll see a little bit difference. You will see more pixelation in a game like this. I notice what they're doing with all multiplayer games, Battlefield, Battlefront, Halo, whatever the case, to keep this latency super crispy like this. It feels so responsive for me here. And to keep things moving really, really well, they're allowing that bit rate to drop more um, so that you don't get the stutters or the issues with latency uh, playing multiplayer. And I get it. I get why they're doing it. And I know they're in beta. Look, this keeps getting better for me basically by the day sometimes, but you are still going to get those pixelation and blockiness issues. But other than that, this game was running fantastic. And again, latency on point feeling great. And while I'm rust at controller because I do play this game on PC I am able to aim just fine I don't feel like the controls are floaty I don't feel like there's any real issues going on other than my own small ones but I'm still able to do well and I could play this game on xCloud as well as I would be able to play it on any console um, and that says a lot for where cloud's going and I think all cloud platforms are coming really really far um, and I hope by the time xCloud leaves beta if they've got this stream cleaned up more series x blades going on I mean we're there they're really Really getting there and for those of you that it's not working great yet the latency is still horrible or you're having issues I feel you um, I'm sorry it's that way hopefully it does get better for you soon it does keep improving but for me in my area I'm fortunate all of cloud runs extremely well for me here I have so much luck with cloud and xCloud is no exception so I'm able to run around and really enjoy the game and I get the decisions that Xbox is making I get what's going on here and for a beta service and for as fast as Microsoft is trying to move on this they're obviously taking cloud seriously because for the people that it is working great for that I'm talking to, I mean, it's working great and it's definitely a viable way to play. So anyways, guys, I hope this video gave you an idea of these three new EA games running in the cloud, how they're running, what they're looking like, and my thoughts on them. So thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always. I really appreciate it. Thumbs up, ring the bell, subscribe, all that. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one.